I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and, and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angels of the Lord and trumpet round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Bless the Lord. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. Who forgiveth Hallelujah. all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle? The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made Hallelujah. known his ways unto Moses. His Hallelujah. acts to the children of Israel. Hallelujah. The Lord is merciful and gracious, Thank you, Jesus. slow to anger Thank you, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according Thank to you, our Jesus. iniquities. For as the Thank heaven is high Jesus. above the Jesus. earth, Thank you, Jesus. so great Thank you, Jesus. is his mercy Thank towards you, them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, Thank you, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Hallelujah. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. And his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his covenant. And to those that remember his commandments to do them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, give thanks unto Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is God. For his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And gather them out of the lands. Hallelujah. From the east. And from the west. From the north. And from the south. They wandered in the wilderness. In a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty. Their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, oh, the men would praise the Lord for his goodness and, and for his wonderful works to, to the, the children, children of men. men.
Go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. All that men would praise him. All that men would praise him. Go ahead and lift your praises to the Lord. Go ahead and worship your God this morning. joyful noise unto the Lord make a joyful noise unto the Lord let the people of God rejoice in the God of their salvation hallelujah 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 let your praises ring let your praises rise let your praises go up let your praises go up. Let the praises go up. Let the praises. God is a good God this morning. Let's worship Him. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. And we're going to be worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness because he's been good to us. Has he been good to you? Has he been good to you this morning? Come on, choir, put your hands together. Yeah. 
so good. He is so good. I know he's good. He is so good. Woke me up this morning. Set me on my way. Put food on my table. Gave me a brand new day. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. He pitied every. welcome to you and we pray that as the stage is already set as the atmosphere is already charged that you'll open your hearts whatever the circumstances that brought you here this morning we invite you to open your hearts to the presence of Almighty God and just allow him to have his way today amen praise God praise God you may be seated Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'd be just like to take the opportunity to extend a very delightful welcome to those who are visiting with us for the very first time. You're setting feet into Pentecostal Tabernacle and into one of our morning worship services for the very first time. Would you be kind enough to stand so that we can acknowledge your presence? Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
And you know, from time to time we say it, but we really do mean it. We never ever take your presence here for granted. We do appreciate that you have so very many options. But we are always, always delighted when you choose to worship with us. And we believe that everyone who steps through the doors of the sanctuary never, ever leave the same way they came. Amen? Can I get a witness? Praise God. And for those of you who have been visiting with us Sunday after Sunday, we do say thank you so much for sharing with us, taking the time to share with us every week. And we do encourage you to keep coming. And how can we forget our very faithful viewers on live stream? Thank you so much. You've been so, so faithful. And we pray that the Lord will continue to bless you in a very, very rich way. Okay? I just didn't... Ah, there's a special welcome for Sister Shelley Kay who's visiting, she's attending the Micro University, and she is actually from Whitehall, UPC. Sister Shelly Kay, where are you? Sister Shelly Kay? Ah, there she is in the back. Please, do make her feel welcome, and do extend a hand of welcome to all our guests this morning. God bless you. Just to give you an idea of what our activities for this week are, as from 11 o'clock this morning, the funeral for the father of Sister Melissa Divini uh, would have started at the New Haven Seventh-day Adventist. This is at 17 to 19 Columbus Drive in Kingston 20, and I do believe some of our members would have gone to give support for that family. At 1 o'clock this afternoon, there's also the funeral for the brother of Sister Angela Easy which is being held at the North Street Seventh-day Adventist Church. And as many of us who are able to go out and give support, please do give support to that family. And do remember to pray for all the bereaved families of this assembly. There will be no evening, there will be evening service in the sanctuary at 6.45 this evening. So again, let's all come out and support the service and just have a wonderful time worshiping Almighty God. On Tuesday at midday to 2 p.m., there will be Golden Ages prayer time in the sanctuary. On Wednesday, September to Remember 2016 begins, and at 6.30 that morning, we begin with morning manor right here in the sanctuary, and at 11.30, there's prayer and fasting service still here. At 6.30 in the afternoon, uh, September to Remember service begins with Minister Des Moines Nash of North Kingston UPC, and he'll be speaking on the theme, Overcoming Our Giants. On Thursday, September to Remember continues at 6.30, and it also continues on Friday at the same time. On Saturday morning, beginning at 7 o'clock, there's a Zone 4 prayer meeting at the Faith Basic School at 2 Duncan's Road of Trelawney East in Waterford, so all the members in the Portmore community and anybody else who wishes to support the Zone 4 prayer meeting, you're being urged to go out and support that. Of course, next Sunday we begin at 6 o'clock in the morning with Rightly Dividing the Word. That's the radio program of the United Pentecostal Church, and that can be heard on RJR's Fame FM. So just put your dial to the 95 on the band. At 7 o'clock, there's prayer time in the sanctuary. There's pre-session at 8 o'clock. At 8.30, there's Sunday school. And at 10.15 a.m., we continue with September to Remember service, Children's Church, and Teen Tab. Next week, Sunday evening, there will be no evening service. Uh, September to Remember 2016 will continue next week, Wednesday. Uh, that's the 21st to the 23rd and the 25th with Pastor Gary Ellis of Abundant Life Outreach Center in the USA. And he'll be speaking on the theme, Out of the Ordinary into Greatness. Please be sure to collect your flyer from an usher and start inviting friends, family, neighbors, and co-workers to these life-changing services. We all cannot afford to miss it. God bless you, everyone. And do have an extraordinary week in the presence of Almighty God. Praise God.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Could you just lift our hands and just thank the Lord for his goodness and his mercies. Amen. Which are from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. How great is our God. How great is his name. He's the greatest one. Forever the same. He rolled back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He said, I lead you. Won't you trust in me? How great is our God. How great is his name. He's the greatest one. If you trust the Lord, nothing is impossible. If you believe a little, oh, there is a secret. What God can do, oh, what He's done for us, He will do the same for you. Nothing is impossible. If you trust the Lord, oh, nothing is impossible. If you trust the Lord, nothing is impossible. If you believe, hallelujah, there is no secret. What God can do, what is done for us, that he will do the same for you. Nothing is impossible if you trust the Lord. Can we get a Amen, amen. Let's not stop worshiping the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can I invite our ushers to come at this time? Amen. Amen. We are going to be receiving our offering, our tithes. Amen. Our faith promise. Amen. If you brought an offering to the Lord this morning, say amen. 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 How many persons have, have noticed or have gotten text about what has been happening here at the sanctuary? Yes. Amen. So if you look at the back, you see some instruments there and you can't see the roof, but on the roof are several solar panels. Amen. And there are some on the Ralphenos Hall. Amen. Amen. So we are moving. Amen. There is progress, right? Amen. And you want more progress, right? Amen. You have to go a little deeper in your pockets. Amen. 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 We haven't, we haven't reached all, or we haven't received all that we need so far. But for those who made pledges, for those who, you know, prayed and asked the Lord to direct you, amen, please. Please, please, please honor your commitment if you made a commitment. And if you haven't gotten on board as yet, you still have time to get on board. Amen? Amen. Nothing is impossible if you trust the Lord. Amen. So if you promise to give a 10, trust the Lord. He'll allow you to give the 10. If you promise to give 50, trust the Lord. He'll allow you to give the 50. Amen? Amen. 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 Could we stand, please? Amen. And as it was said before, our September to Remember services begin this Wednesday at 6 or 6.30 p.m. Well, 6 p.m. with prayer, and then we continue from there on. But please invite someone for those who were here a few months ago and heard the, the message from Brother Minister Nash, you know it's impactful and he's going to continue that. And we want to pray as well that the Lord will use him greatly for the next few days. Amen? Amen. It's so good to have Deacon Harold Will Williams, Wilson, Harold Cook, Harold, 
Right. Boy, I tell you. I know I'm getting old when I can't remember people's name, right? Brother Wright, could you just come and bless the offering, please? Amen. I know I'm getting old, you know. I know I'm getting old. That was a senior, senior moment. Let's bow your heads for prayer. Father, we even thank you today for the privilege to be alive and in the sanctuary where we inhabit the praise of your people. Thank you for your divine protection through the weekdays. And now we have come to lift up and magnify thy holy name. We come to give ourselves and that which you have blessed us with. We ask as we stretch forth our hands to give towards the cause of the kingdom. That will bless it and multiply it. So Lord God, you'll do a great move in your spirit. Bless everyone there, Lord, today that are gathered here. And we thank you for your many blessings from this time. henceforth, forevermore in the holy name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, sir. I hope you're not vexed with me, sir. Forgive me. Amen. You may be seated. Give as unto the Lord. We're marching this morning, and our choir is ministering. Oh. Singers and musicians. Amen. My Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon.
the Lord say? He heard a voice from heaven, and this is what it said. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Worship the Lord. Let's continue to worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody who's grateful today? Hallelujah. Anybody appreciates all the Lord has done for them? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today we are giving God thanks. Today it's about Thanksgiving because God has been so good. He has been so good. Hallelujah. 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 The choir is ministering. Let's just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Out of all the blessings you've given to me, I, I appreciate them. Out of all the time. You made a way for me. I can't forget them. No. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
I don't know about you this morning, but I want to tell Jesus, out of all the blessings, Jesus, you've given to me, see, I, I appreciate
when I remember the battles you fought for me when I remember the victory When I remember Shakaya, the battles you fought for me. When I remember the victories you won. When I recall Shako, the trial. minute or so could we just worship the Lord some more just thank him 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here today not because of my goodness. Hallelujah. But because of your grace, Jesus. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment, Jesus. I'm living this moment, Jesus. Thank you for saving a sinner like me, Jesus. I'm living this moment, Jesus. Only because of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's so good to have Minister Brian Hall and his wife here today. Amen. So good to have them both. Amen. Sister Hall, thank you for accompanying your husband here today. Amen. And just want to ask him to come. Amen. And just share what the Lord has laid upon his heart. He has a powerful testimony. Amen. It's also, well, before he comes, just like to welcome my brother, Brother David Reynolds. So good to have you again, sir. Amen. Welcome back home. Amen. And to all those individuals who are away, I know quite a few are here. Come back home. We welcome you. For those who are out, welcome. Amen. Welcome. But as Minister Hall comes one more time, could we just lift our hands and just worship the Lord? Amen. Could we just open our mouths everywhere and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The songwriter says, When I remember the battles he fought for me, when I remember the victories he has won, when I recall the triumphs he has caused in my life, then guess what? In my heart, I am strong. Could we just worship him? Could we just love him? Could we just adore him? Hallelujah. 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 When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah! Thanking God for saving me. I am just so blessed to be in the house of the Lord today. And I'm just here to worship the Lord with you. I had a, one of the worst weeks you could imagine. Trying to get here today, my car wouldn't start. Thinking it needed some oil or some gas, I went to the gas station to buy both. My car declined. Went for my wife, she came and bought them, put them in the car and the car wouldn't start. But when I remember, oh God, the battles he has fought for me. When I recall the victories he has won, then in my heart, I am strong. Let me use this opportunity to greet all the men of God, ministers, women of God, the anointed choir musicians, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ, those who are visiting with us, I greet you in the lovely name of Jesus. I ask if you could turn with me your Bibles to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, and I'll be reading the first eight verses. 
well-known passage of Scripture, 1 Samuel chapter 30. It says, And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag, and smitten Ziglag, and burnt it with fire. And had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives. I know the Jezreelites and Abigail, the wife of Nebel, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abithar the priest, Abiklet's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abithar brought thither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Could I ask? Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence which has been rich in this place. Lord, indeed, we know, God, that you want to speak to our hearts. And so, Lord, we pray that we will open up our hearts, our minds, our spirits, our souls to receive what you have to say. Breathe upon your man's servant, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, use every faculty, Lord Jesus, every member, Lord, every part of his being, Lord Jesus, to deliver this message, God. And we pray that indeed every soul will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Before you sit, could you just shake the hand of your neighbor and then be seated? The mind is a phenomenal thing. It controls and manipulates our thoughts. Then our thoughts become actions. And our action forms our character. So then our character referring to our persona, our attitudes, our values, our disposition is a result of the way we think. The Bible agrees with me because in Proverbs 23 verse 7, it declares, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The problem we face more times than not is that whenever we're going through a situation that is uncomfortable, the first thing we do is look for outside factors to blame. We blame others for our mistakes. 
We blame others for our misfortunes. We blame others for our mishaps. Not realizing that in doing so, we let the real culprit off the hook. And the real culprit is the way we think. I heard people saying that circumstances make me who I am. But the truth of the matter, the way I think, make me who I am. Circumstances prove who I am. Because the truth of the matter is negative things, whenever it happens to me, I can take it negatively or I can look for the positive within the negative. As a child of God, I love Romans 8, 28 that says, All things worketh together for good to them that love the Lord who are called according to his purpose. Because, you see, when negative things happen, I used to have a pity party and ask myself, why me? Why now? And then I would look for somebody to blame. And oftentimes I would start to feel sorry for myself and would throw myself a pity party until I got into a stage of depression. I was listening to the news this week where Friday was declared as a non-suicidal day or something like that because they realized that suicide is getting more and more to be a common place in our little island called Jamaica. And the problem with that is caused from depression. Depression is a low mood that causes a negative effect on a person's thoughts, behavior, worldview, and physical well-being. When you are depressed, you think about only negative things. When you are depressed, you don't want anybody to talk anything positive around you. You look for the negative people and you throw yourself a negative uh, disposition and you begin to ask a whole lot of questions. David was there. He was running from Saul because it was obvious that Saul was the source of all of David's problems. And David thought that because I don't want any encounter, a bad encounter with Saul, it is best if I go over to the enemy's camp. So he found himself in Ziglag. Uh, the Bible tells us that it was a a city in the midst of the Philistines but David knew that when your ways please God even your enemies will be at peace with you hallelujah to God the Bible says that after uh, Israel was coming up against the Philistines to fight David said I will fight with the Philistines but they said not so David we don't trust you we know that you're a warrior we know that you're a fighter yes you're living in one of our cities but what if in the midst of the battle you just switch Oh God, they said, no, David, if you really want to be on our side, stay out of the battle altogether. The Bible says that when David came back to Ziglag, he realized that his wives and his sons and his daughters were taken captive. Oh God, David must have felt away. But then those that were with him, when they realized that their wives and their daughters and their sons were taken captives, everybody started to turn on David. These men had forgotten that 
David was the man they ran to when they were in need of help. And David had nowhere to turn. David realized Saul, Saul, Saul. Ah, uh, Saul is my biggest problem. Because if Saul wasn't running after me, I wouldn't end up in Ziglag in the first place. And if Saul had killed, killed all the Amalekites when God told him to kill them, then there would be no Amalekites to come and take away my family. Oh God, but David said, I'm still not going to hunt Saul. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait until my change come. Oh God, you see, David could have just decided, I'm just going to kill Saul. But David said, I'm going to behave myself wisely. Everybody started to cry. And everybody started to say, we're going to kill David. Oh God, the Bible says that when David realized that there was nobody to encourage him, he had to encourage himself. I have been there. It's one thing to be in church, clapping and singing. Ah, uh, when you have the strength of your brothers and your sisters. But what happened when everybody that you used to go to for encouragement turn against you? Oh God Almighty, you better know what it is to encourage yourself. Oh God. God, I imagine David did what I do a lot of times. I take my mirror and I look in my mirror and I look in my own eyes and I talk to myself. Oh, God Almighty. Uh, yes, I got to look at Brian and say, come on. Why are you crying? Crying don't get you anywhere. Hallelujah to God. David had to say, where is the one? in me. Oh God, you got to take the mirror sometimes and look at your own self. Hallelujah. Because if the situation isn't going to change, Then you got to change your mind about the situation. David realized Saul has always been chasing me. And the only reason Saul hates me is because I'm gifted. The songs that they sing in Israel. Saul has slain his 10,000. His thousand and David is 10,000. Wasn't written by David. David didn't tell anybody to write a song about him. But when you're gifted, people are going to realize your gift. And people are going to highlight the gift. As a matter of fact, the gift will make way for you. David had to say, wait, 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 wait. If you kill me, how is that going to get back? your sons, and your daughter. You see, when people are depressed, they don't think straight. The saying says that you should never make a decision when you're angry or when you're hungry. Because somehow the brain doesn't function the way it ought to. And so David decided, I am not going to entertain any more negative thoughts. Because if I entertain negative thoughts, then it's going to breed 
negative actions. Anybody here ever thought about doing something negative, carried it out, and you're still sorry about it? David said, it's my mind that's got to change about this situation. So he said, well, crying is not going to bring back my family. Killing me, guys, ain't going to solve anything. So he said, I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to worship. It's one of the hardest things to worship when things are going against you. Oh God, but when you, if you can muster up enough strength and courage to worship, even the devil is surprised and wondering what does he know that I don't know. Because the devil don't expect you to worship when all hell is breaking loose. David said, it's my heart that needs to change. Oh God, he looked in the mirror. I wish I could sing. I wish I could sing. I wish I could sing. Oh God. But David looked himself in the mirror. And the song must have come to him. And he said, why art thou disquieted? Why art thou cast down? Mm, my God, you see, we love to ask questions, but the real question lies with us. Oh God, David looked in the mirror, and what he saw wasn't a warrior. What he saw was a crybaby. And David said, I don't like the image that is looking back at me. He said, why art thou oh, discouraged? Why art thou, come on, I got to talk to myself. Oh God, and David got to look back because guess what when you can't look forward it's time to look back and when you look back and see where he's brought me from oh God almighty I've been there when I'm so discouraged and I don't know where to go I look back and I said look where he has brought me from oh God almighty it's a mighty long way I realized something with my walk with God. That there are times God is taking me somewhere. And I said, God, I'm very intelligent. You made me intelligent. Could you just tell me where you're taking me? And he said, I am too intelligent to tell you. What he does, he puts on a blindfold. Hold it. And said, I could tell you, but if I told you, your heart would fail you. So all you got to do is learn to trust me. And he said, what? And you feel so vulnerable when you're going somewhere that you don't know where you're going. Ah, uh, step down. Step, 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 step. Oh God, the thing, ah, it feels so foolish because you're saying, God, I'm moving. I don't even sure which direction because sometimes what he does, he causes you to spin. And you lose our sense of direction. Then he says, walk. Where am I going, God? Just trust me.
Abakashandai. Just trust me. Oh God Almighty. Oh God. He leadeth me. Oh God. He leadeth me. But where is he leading me? I don't know. Then he tells me only in retrospect he said look where I brought you from oh God and you realize the reason he couldn't tell you where you were going is if he didn't blindfold you you would say God I can't walk down the steps oh God I'm going to fall when he oh God when he carries you uh, through the valley uh, of the shadow of death you would have said no God let us take another route but God is saying all you got to do is learn to trust me For the past couple of weeks, God has been carrying me to a height in Him that gets me nervous. Literally nervous. I realize if you're going to be a child of God, trust is important. I feel your Holy Ghost. I have been praying and I've been saying, God, I am tired of what we call church. And God said, if you're going to see what you want to see, it's going to boil down to trust. Do you trust me? I said, God, I trust you. I was in a church preaching, finished preaching, locked my Bible, trying to take my seat. God said, not yet. You say, you're tired of church as usual. Go through the aisle and call 10 people. I said, God, which 10? He said, I'll show you. I chose 10 people, Sister Headley, told them to meet me at the altar. I came back, I said, God, I don't know what to tell these people. He said, you don't need to know, just trust me. He said, what do you notice about all the 10 persons that you have called? They're boys, girls, different age group, but they all have something in common. I said, God, the only thing that I see obvious to my eyes, they all have on yellow. He said, that wasn't a mistake. All ten of them are going through an experience, a midnight experience. And they subconsciously put on yellow. Hoping for a brighter day. God said, I'm going to tell you what their midnight is and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to bring them out. I said, go ahead. First person, he told me to tell, he said, she was in a car accident. I felt so foolish. Telling somebody about themselves that I don't know nothing about.
I said, you were in a car accident. You damaged your back, your hip. You're waiting on the insurance to come through with the insurance money. They're giving you a hard time. The Lord told me to tell you that Monday they're going to call you and give you a check for twice. I was in church the other day and she was there. Almanil United Pentecost. And I said, God, this is amazing. The fourth person I went to, I said, a door that has been locked for 15 years. The Lord said, he just opened it. I said, church, what time is it? They said, 9.30. I said, it opened 9.30. Church was over. I was going to the car. She said, pastor, look here. I said, what? She said, a text. I said, could you read it for me? She said, Pastor, my baby father, who left 15 years ago when I was pregnant, didn't even call to find out if it was a boy or a girl, just sent me a text. Said that he's ready to be a part of my child's life again. She said, Pastor, he sent $240,000 in an account I didn't even remember. I said, God be praised, I'm really tired, I got to go home. She said, Boss, I didn't stop you to tell you that. I said, what did you stop me to tell you? She said, could you just look at the time it came in? Nine thirty. It's the mind that God is trying to transform. Because when the mind is transformed, even if it looks negative, you know that nothing happens to a child of God by chance. David said, bring me the ephod. I got to change my mind. Oh God, there's something about worshiping. When you begin to worship, your mind, ah, it takes your mind off the situation and put it on a God who is Lord over every situation. David said, give me the ephod. Oh God, and when he began to worship, when he began to praise, he said, that's what makes me a warrior because I know how to praise. Oh God, are there any warriors in the house that knows how to bless the Lord at all times, knowing that his praise is David, the minute he got the ephod, he realized, I am not a victim. I am a victor. Oh God, he said, I'm not a crybaby. I am a warrior. Oh God, he said, God, I'm, I'm done with the pity party. Shall I pursue? God, the enemy took some things from me. And all I'm doing is crying about it. Crying ain't going to make the enemy mock. I said, crying won't let the enemy bring back what he has stolen. Crying is exactly what the enemy wants to see. David said the only way I'm going to get back what the enemy has stolen is to do what I know to do and that is to fight because you taught my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I'm going back for everything that the enemy has taken away. But it starts with the mind. 
feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I, 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 I tell people that I struggle uh, preaching in a church for the first time because I don't know your culture and I don't know how far I can go. Oh God, I, I, I don't know what you're used to from what you're not used to. Oh God, but I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I was in a church for the very first time uh, two weeks ago and I asked the pastor, Pastor, are you in charge of this church or is it the Holy Ghost? Because I was nervous. I said something that was probably Inappropriate, Sister Hill. The choir sang, and they said, I've never lost my praise. And the minute I came to the mic, the Lord said, How come? Ask them the question, How come you have never lost your praise when I sent my preacher here to restore the praise that you have lost? They looked at me funny. But by the end of that service, everybody that had lost their praise was restored. And God baptized six with the Holy Ghost. There is a mindset that God wants to shift today. A mind shift. Because Jehoshaphat was going to war. And God said, get me the praiser. And somebody's mind was all messed up. Jehoshaphat, this is not a choir rehearsal. This is war. Where are we going with the singers? Abithar must have said, David, they're gone with your family. And you're talking about having a praise session. Let the praise session wait until you get back your family. You're sending for the ephod in a time when everybody's crying. We normally use the ephod when there's victory. Where is the victory, David? The victory is in your worship. The victory is in your praise. Oh, God. I feel Holy Ghost. Oh, God Almighty. I said the victory is in your mouth. The victory is in your mouth. Oh God, the same mouth you use uh, to complain. The victory is in your mouth. The victory is in your mouth. Somebody open your mouth and give God glory. Oh God, somebody's at war right now. Somebody's at war right now. Somebody's at war. Somebody's at war. Somebody's at war. Somebody's at war. Somebody's at war.
feel your Holy Ghost. I feel your Holy Ghost. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. We are all the worshippers. 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 crazy I feel crazy oh God Almighty oh God Almighty Ali Kuredo Ah I feel God getting ready to, to do something that he has not done in somebody's life before. Hallelujah. 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 I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for somebody. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, the devil took something from you. The devil took something from you. The devil took something from you. Oh, God Almighty. Ah. Uh. 
I wish we could just, could you just try and be silent for one minute? I, I need you to muscle all the strength you can. I went searching for somebody a while ago. The Spirit sent me searching for somebody in this large congregation. Just the other day, the Lord said to me, it's time for the church to leave the 99 and go searching for that one. I've given you one minute. I left my church in search of a deeper walk with the Lord. I used to minister my church through music and I've been coming here just to worship but I've been asking the Lord about my ministry. Where will I go? I, I don't know but I don't know. The Lord sent me for him under the balcony. He said he lost his ministry. God is going to restore your ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David thought he lost his family. But God said, Go back for them. Ah, I feel your Holy Ghost. Ah, this church is just too large for me to operate in this morning. But, but, but this is what I'm going to ask you. You know the ones that you lost something. 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 God is saying, Go back for it with your praise. Somebody lost your praise. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I feel Holy Ghost. I feel Holy Ghost. I feel Holy Ghost. I feel Holy Ghost. Change your mindset. 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 You're not a victim. Oh God Almighty. I said you're not a victim. When David changed his mindset and went after the enemy, David came back with more than he lost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Everybody put your hand on the hand of the person that's in front of you, not beside you, in front of you. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. 
Begin to pray and watch the domino effect. Begin to praise and watch the domino effect. I said, begin to praise and watch the domino effect. Begin to praise and watch the domino effect. Because when David got praising, oh God, the men that were with him didn't want to kill him again. When David got praising, Shaka Sanda we bind that suicidal spirit. We bind that spirit. In the name of Jesus, we find that spirit that say you can't. In the name of Jesus, yes, restoration, 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 restoration. Somebody pray them. Somebody open the mouth. Yes. It's happening! Yes! 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 yes. Yes, there's a sweet anointing. 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 Yes, recover, 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 recover. Oh God Almighty, recover, 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 recover. the Holy Ghost 
I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, touch somebody and say recover. 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 Oh God, God said you're going to recover. Oh God, somebody left you for dead. But it's time to recover. to do. Amen. You know what you need to do. You heard what the preacher said. You know what you need to do. Amen. Don't let anybody hold you back. Don't let that situation hold you back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what to do. If you're here and you don't have a relationship with God, you are not a part of his family. You have not been baptized in Jesus' name. You need to be baptized today. If you haven't received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you need to receive the Holy Ghost today. You need to come. You need to come. Open up your mouth. Hallelujah. And allow the Lord to deliver you. 
Hallelujah. If you're here today and you're a member of God's family, you know what to do. You know what to do. You have been given in instructions today by the Lord. You know what to do. You need to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're in your seat, you know you need to come. Don't stay there and die. You need to come. Let the Lord continue the, the work that he has begun. Don't stay there and die. Come. Come. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Brother Damien. Hallelujah. Come let us pour. Hallelujah. Come let us pour. sisters if you can spend with us a little longer just to come and give some support to some of our brothers and sisters here this this afternoon if you don't have to go can I invite us just to come a little closer and give some support if you have to go we understand but if you don't have to go can I invite us just to come amen and give some support just to lay a hand on someone who is here, some brother, some sister, and pray with them, encourage them. Tell them it's not over. This is not the end. Hallelujah. Yes, you may have fallen down. Yes, you may have stumbled. But this is not the end. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In case you have fallen by the wayside of life, dreams and visions shattered, you are broken. Hallelujah. By the wayside of 
If you're looking for joy, joy in the Potter's house. Oh, there is love, yes, there is love in the Potter's house. Potter's house. If you need so much love, there is love.
Your spirit is broken. You cry from the pain. You wonder why you never smile again. To be, to be the He's past. 